canceling tornado. Well, that looks so real, I got scared. <laughs> they pulled all her pots for taking cheap shots. Chrissy Teigen, the super stupid supermodel, famous for marrying John Legend. <laughs> She's also known for being a complete jerk face on Twitter. But now the one who loved to cancel anyone for laughs is experiencing her own turn in the barrel. After decade-old tweets resurfaced of her bu bullying reality star, Courtney Stodden, who was 16 at the time, Teigen had encouraged her to kill herself. Stodden was the only person Teigen targeted. She was a true anomaly, a well-known celebrity who delighted in marshalling her millions of followers to swarm anyone she thought was her inferior. She loved to bully, and it showed. But now her reign of mean girl terror is over. Major retailers like Bloomingdale's are pulling Chrissy's cookware line from their shelves. Luckily, she won't need them since her goose is already cooked. <laughs> Meanwhile, Joe Rogan says, whoa, cancel culture will only escalate until straight white men are silenced. You can never be woke enough. That's the problem. It keeps going. It keeps right. going further and further and further down the line. And if you get that to the point where you capitulate, where you agree to all these demands, it will eventually get to straight white men are not allowed to talk. Oh, those will be the days. Now, a lot of dumb people like CNN's Don Lemon were quick to point out that Rogan has an audience of millions and no one's trying to silence him. No crap. He wasn't talking about himself, a concept Don Lemon doesn't seem to understand. <laughs> Speaking of, here's Don giving his take on cancel culture. If you believe that America is for everyone, then you certainly believe that America is about redemption. America is about redemption and is not just about canceling people. Uh, okay, Don. Don now, meet Don then. <laughs> I have many people who I love in my life. And yeah, I come from a red state. I've lived in several red states. There are a lot of friends who I had to really get rid of because they, they are so nonsensical. When it comes to this issue, they have the whole, every single talking point that they hear on state TV and that they hear from this president. They repeat it and they are blinded by it. I had to get rid of them because they are too far gone. Oh my God, that's beautiful. By the way, Don, didn't you say you were leaving a few days ago? That's the only CNN exclusive America wishes were true. I kid, I forgive you, Don. I forgive you for every awful, stupid thing you said. About Fox, too. I'll forgive you for that, too. All right, Joey, uh, you, your pick, Chrissy or Joe? Oh, I, I like them both. What are you okay. talking about? All right, then do a, do a point one, point two. No, here's the deal with Chrissy Teigen. She announced she was leaving Twitter on March 24th, yeah. and she was back on, I believe, April 16th. And so that I think she made 20 <laughs> days without <laughs> tweeting. All right. You're well Lent, researched. Lent, <laughs> Lent is 40 days. Americans every single year go twice as long without sex or alcohol. They give up bread. That's bread true. For 40 days. And she couldn't go 20 days without tweeting. And when she finally came back, she's just stepping off in it. And this is why. Yeah. She has social media personality disorder, right? She's addicted to this attention. And if you live in that world long enough, your own ire will be directed right back at you because we are human beings mm -hmm. and we do stupid things. On the point of Joe Rogan and Don Lemon, the problem that Don Lemon has with Joe Rogan is that Joe Rogan has something Don will never have. Don lives in a world where you claim superiority by having this wisdom and intelligence and, and it, everyone knows it's not true in this world that we live in, this, right. this TV, right? When we go on TV, we got to be saying like, hey, mom and dad, this is how you can understand all the bull crap they're telling you. That's all our job is. But at CNN, it's not like that. Mm -hmm. That's why five people watch it. <laughs> Joe Rogan is a celebrity because he manipulated people into sticking their hands into boxes of scorpions yes. or eating insects. Yes. And then he maneuvered that into making fun of his friends while they beat up each other. And now he gets high and talks about random things. He's just an interesting human being, and that kills him. Yeah. That kills Don. M massively successful. Uh, Mercedes, Tegan or Joe, or do you want to mush it into a Tegan Joe sandwich? That could be uh, that could be pretty <laughs> gross. Um, but you might have to use Tegan's uh, cookware for that. But yes. let me tell you, I think she has Martha Stewart syndrome. What, really? She wants to be Martha Stewart, but she goes topless when yeah. she's cooking. I mean, that's kind of the thing. Ma I don't Martha think Stewart? we want to see Martha topless. Yeah, no, okay? no, but I mean, think about you can't, you can't not. cook topless, especially bacon, as <laughs> I've learned. Just, just be careful with the oil, but it's really hot. <laughs> yes. Exactly. You know, I think when you look at Joe, uh, 
Don's just jealous. I mean, yeah. he's so jealous of Joe. We can't stand this moral, moralizing speeches that Don Lemon gives every night. It's really good to put it on if you want to put the kids to sleep. Just put <laughs> Don on. But really, Joe Rogan has been a sensation. He's mm -hmm. been a social media sensation. He's been able to attract over 11 million people per episode. Mm. And you know what? This country is about freedom of speech. We're going to stand for it. We're going to make sure that every American can speak freely and not be silenced by the left. You know, I would love to silence Kat. But, um, no, I'm not <laughs> well said, uh, Kat, um, but do you buy the white, do you, do, would you say this is white man whining or? No, look, I think, I don't, I, Joe Rogan may have gone a bit far saying that white guys are not gonna be allowed outside soon, especially just, Straight I don't, white. they won't do it. They won't do it. Like, the, there's a lot of frat guys that have been locked inside way too long. They are not gonna miss another summer of day drinking Bud Lights on rooftops. There's no way. Yes. I've seen them out and they are excited to be back. Yes. Uh, but I thought something he said elsewhere that was really, really, really important was there's people, we should be nice to each other. There's people yeah. whose entire identity is looking for things that other people have done wrong and trying to cancel them. Right. I don't think Chrissy Teigen is only mean because she told someone who was 16 to kill themselves. Yeah, that's really mean. It's pretty mean to make your entire purpose for being alive trying to destroy someone else's right. life and livelihood. Yeah. Yeah. That's not nice. And just because you're doing it in the name of wokeness, it doesn't make you nice. You're still a jerk. Yeah. You know, Emily, I realized that Chrissy Teigen was your hero. It's not true. That's and we notice uh, we, I've been size cut out in your office. I've been watching a lot of uh, Outnumbered, and I see what you've been, you've been kind of adopting some of her traits. Do you see it? Are you trying to take the spot that she's vacated? You false. I object. <laughs> Not true. Uh, I just feel like for this, this is no surprise to us who yeah. who saw through how shallow and how performative all of that activism is from the left anyway. Of course she would turn out to be the ugliest monster there was. <laughs> because her facade was that she was the most beloved, perfect human. For her to, to, to tirade and for her to bully that 16 year old, that is beyond disgusting. And yet she's obviously been throwing those arrows the whole time. And then on the Joe Rogan, Don Lemon, Don Lemon pointed out the massive platform that Joe Rogan has. And that's absolutely right. As we've been saying here, compared especially with Don Lemon's pitiful viewership. He also ignored Ooh. the context of the podcast, which in that is that Joe Rogan was talking about the arena of comedy mm -hmm. specifically, but you know, he said it best, which is oh. that you can never be too woke. And that's the problem. Oh, another reason quick that Chrissy Teigen's the worst mm -hmm. is because she's like super, super rich, but she makes her whole pretending to be relatable. Like, hey, I ate too much bread, huh? Well then have someone come to your house and give you a colon cleanse on demand because you can <laughs> afford that. Yeah. We are not the same. What a broad. <laughs> that is the, the worst thing about it is that she is, she's, why is somebody who's supposed to be so successful punching down? I do that. That's my <laughs> thing. But also, the too much information stuff. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Th that's a whole other side where she's talking about their well, sex that's life. Personality disorder. That's what it is. It's the, the addiction to attention. Yeah. I like that they're playing the music. <laughs> yeah, you play through the whole show. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.